between us, who's going to die first? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you and how do you know each other? I'm Katie. I'm Tim. And we're married. I'm Morgan. And this is Cher. And that's my girlfriend. I'm Pamela. I'm MJ. How long have you two been together? 12 years. Three years. What are your ages? I'm 55. I am 27. I'm 27. I'm 45. <laughs> Who wants to go first? You can go first. OK. Let's pick up a card. Mm -hmm. When we first met, were you just trying to hook up? <laughs> Or were you looking for something serious? Definitely just trying to hook up. <laughs> Probably just trying to hook up. Me too. I was exiting a long-term relationship that was not great, so I guess the hookup is the next step. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we hung out a lot first. Yeah. We met as just friends, and then it progressed towards the end. But ultimately, I was looking for my person, so. What are your ages? I'm 30. And I just turned 58. How did you two meet? I dated her best friend who also happens to be her ex. <gasps> yes. <laughs> you met on Tinder, it's, honestly. It was kind of goofy, but yeah. Met through relatives. <laughs> My daughter's dad is cousins with him, so our two girls are like sister cousins. <laughs> are things good with your cousin? Yeah. Yes. They're great. You found out he was mad at first, he got over it, and everybody's happy. Have you always been attracted to someone older? When did you move to Cougar Town? <laughs> uh, when I found out the rent was cheaper. Uh, no. <laughs> Have you always been attracted to younger women? No. I've actually, in the last 10 years, all the women I've dated have been older. The youngest woman I've ever dated was five years younger. So you're definitely a, a, a plot change in my life. So in my early 20s, I feel like I've dated guys my age in, in their 20s, but as I got older, my mid-20s, I started to get into more older men. But it's not necessarily like I'm super hyper fixated on like finding just an older guy. Usually when you find somebody who's older, they're more intelligent, they have more empathy. I reached a point where I really stopped hanging out with anybody that was my age, so it was really natural for me to try to start dating people that were older than me. How did your family slash friends feel about our relationship? Who felt weirdest about it? Ooh, well, my older sister completely did not agree with it, accept it. She was horrible. Yeah. But then my younger sister was happy to see me happy. Yeah. So. My parents were very skeptical about it. When I first told my was mom, kind of she was like, what the hell is going on? Like, are you okay? I didn't want to say anything at first to anybody. <laughs> I didn't tell my parents. I never like specifically said how young you were. Mm -hmm. And then like later on, I think after a couple years, she's like, how much younger is he than you? And I was like, ah, like a few years. So I think that like after Does a decade. Does she now know his age? Maybe. My family and his family, there's no age gap relationships. With a black sheep at like family holidays. My dad did call. <laughs> Why am I just now hearing this? It was like, uh, word has it, you got yourself a new roommate. No. I, was like, I was like, a little bit more than that, dad. He's like, all right, and just left it at that. <laughs> Because uh, he had talked to uh, Aunt Kathy and, oh, and stuff God. about about <laughs> she hates me. <laughs> so I I dressed vintage, right? So a friend once said, just because I like to dress in the fifties doesn't mean I have to date anyone in their fifties. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. I have a teenage daughter, so she was a little bit like, "Dude, what are you doing?" But then she got to meet her. We're real close, yeah. I'd say. Does she call you her second mom? No, I don't. I don't even want her to do that. Yeah. I, Plus, I, she has a mom. It's yeah, not. Yeah, I'm not trying to like. She's not her mom. Yeah, I do see her like as a younger sister, though. Yeah, for sure. Like that's like my best friend. Time. Yeah. Have you ever felt our age difference is inappropriate? I did in the very beginning, because you're younger than a lot of my friends' children. Okay. So I felt. How did I feel? Not that it was not appropriate, just I felt different. It's like I actually Googled how to, how to, be, how to be in an age gap relationship as the older person. You did. There's no imbalance. There's no like 
power dynamic between us. And I think that's what a lot of people think about most, most age gap relationships is that like the older person sure. or the older guy, they're taking advantage of the younger girl, but like that's totally not the case for us. How do I annoy you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just there's a lot of nagging, I guess is the best way to... <laughs> I think that that kind of stems from who's spent longer amount of time as an adult. I always lived on my own. And he always had like roommates and you just like wouldn't do laundry or like use the frying pan, don't clean it right away. And so I'd nag you to like clean the pan and not leave water sitting in it. But I'm not mad about it. I'm just like. In what ways do I act my age? You have memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> I would say probably your music shows you your age. You tell everything on TikTok. <laughs> But you like to, you know, like when she wants to relax, she looks at TikToks and... What? What? <laughs> Have I said TikTok enough? Well, I guess not. <laughs> Sometimes when me and his daughter are just like sitting there and he tells us about something he has already told us before, me and her just look at each other and we're like... Well, your eyes yeah, like, we're oh, just like... Grandpa or man. something. <laughs> Do people ever get confused that we're a couple? Yes. We've counted so far four times that we have been mistaken for mother or daughter. Just recently on New Year's, you went to the ladies' room and the server goes, oh, mother, daughter, and I'm like, no, she's my girlfriend. And she was just felt so uncomfortable, like, oh, oh, I have friends that are lesbians. They're getting married this summer. And oh, it was funny. We were at his daughter's high school orientation or something, and like someone was like, oh, like, what, what classes are you going to sign up for or something? And I'm like, I don't. I graduated a long time ago. How often do we have sex? Do you wish it was more or less? More. What? Yeah. Truth or drink? How much are you really willing to reveal to your friends? If you're looking for a good time, buy the truth or drink game and yeah, take it home and play with your friends and family and hopefully it doesn't uh, tear you apart. We have, I we would don't say, have enough time I, I, in the day. I would say on average it's about five to 14 times a week, so I could always use more. I could always use more. He's definitely. getting to that age where if I give him more, <clears throat> his heart will probably stop. <laughs> oh, stop it. How often do we have sex? Do you wish it was more or less? Definitely more. I would say same. <laughs> What's stopping you? If we're being like a little more serious about it, I struggle a little with intimacy because of past previous trauma and so it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to get into that safe space of being comfortable and it doesn't have anything to do with you. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> if someone were to fuck up this relationship, who would it be? I think it would be me. And in terms of like fuck up this relationship, it could be like cheating. We've talked about it before, but like, of course, I would never cheat on you. That's just awful. I love your daughter and I love your family and I love you, so. I mean, I think there's life experiences that you haven't had that like some what? women can go through some big changes between, I think, 27 and 32, so I'm kind of you know, I'm on high alert to be like, ah, eh, she's dipping. Yeah. But I hope you don't. What are the negative ways our age difference has affected our relationship? Me being into adulthood, that means I have that much more time having experiences or challenges or like, do you feel like you missed out in your 20s? <sighs> I mean, I guess that's one way to look at it. Did you feel like you grew up right away? because all of a sudden you were dating someone who was a professional, who had this career. Yeah, that's, that's a fair question, you know, and I felt like I had to make sacrifices of what my pursuits were because Pam is like our breadwinner, so I have to prioritize like doing all of these tasks at home and, you know, sometimes that can wear down on you. If we got pregnant right now, what would we want to do? I'm gonna get rid of that baby. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I don't want kids. I wouldn't mind having another child at all. We've actually- A boy. A, a, I want a, a boy. boy. Yeah. If we got pregnant right now, what would uh, we want to do? 
Yeah, we've been uh, trying to have a kid for a while now, so. Yeah, it's, um. Mm. <sighs> like, the good news is, like, my health checks out and my blood work checks out and everything checks out, but being 42, um, I'm still hopeful, but you just kind of have to have patience and acceptance. We did have a loss, and that makes it a little bit harder, too. So we would welcome that, I think. So now I feel like I need a shot. Do it. <laughs> so anybody out there going through hard times, yes, you're not alone. <laughs> Between us, who's going to die first? Well, me. well, okay. <laughs> you, obviously. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me, obviously, so. I don't really focus on that. I want to enjoy now. I think I'm gonna die first. I mean, I feel like it's gonna be close. You're probably just gonna live a lot longer than you ever expected in your 90s. And he's like, why am I still here? The trade-off is that I'm gonna be a grumpy old man but sooner. You already are. I yelled at some high school kids today. <laughs> Between us, who's who's gonna die first? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's that's an easy one. Oh that's God, one. I'm gonna get teary eyed. <laughs> oh, that would sad. probably most likely be me. I need a tissue. Yeah. <laughs> this this God. Is, this is actually thought about, believe it or not. And I think every time we've ever had a little bit of a discussion, this is how it ends right here. I'm just a baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't you start. But I mean. I know we're gonna get some good years out of each other. Yeah. We're gonna be together for decades. Yeah. I've thought about this because I'm like, I wouldn't want her to be with me when I'm old and going to doctor's appointments all the time. And I want you to live, you know, and have, be happy. I love you. I love you too, but I, I wouldn't want, you know, to put you through that. You're so. my best friend. And You're my best friend too. But I think if we got married, it's like, it ends at 65 and then like then you would have to. That's seven years. Wait, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't think of me as being that old, but yeah, you're right. I think this makes sense. I, I think this needs I think... more. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> we can discuss this later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe to 70. Is this forever love? Yeah. Seems like it. Yeah. Absolutely. It's gonna be forever and way beyond that. When we're ghosts, we're gonna be in love. Mm -hmm. Is this forever love? I think so. Until one of us dies. Which is gonna be me. And me, together. Die love together. you, sweetie. I love you, sweetie. I think no matter what happens at 65 or 66, that I am still going to love you, and I'm still going to be your best friend, and I don't want it to end at 66, but I just, we'll talk, yeah. We'll, Talk about it later. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. We did it. We did, we did it. it. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs>